It's a real privilege to introduce Ramesh uh, Gunasekara, who's the author of eight fine works of fiction. It's uh, both a collection of stories and a novel. So you get two for the price of one, uh, if you get one of these books. Um, the way it works is that there are stories that are connected, they're interconnected stories. And the connection, main connection, of course, is the narrator. The narrator is a man called Vasanta. Uh, Vasanta is a van driver, uh, and he lives in Sri Lanka. And this is uh, his life um, after the end of the war in 2009. The research and the reality is it. Well, I have been in a lot of vans, um, and I guess in recent years when I've been back to Sri Lanka, I have, for one reason or another, traveled around in, in, a, in a van with a driver, and, um, and I've had good conversations. Um, and I don't think I've had a van driver quite like Vasantha. But it's quite interesting. I mean, there are two, two aspects to it, I suppose. One is, yes, I, I have seen things. I did go up to Jaffna soon after the war. Uh, it was the first time I'd been to Jaffna. Um, it was a place I'd heard a lot about, um, and a place I had some sense of connection, though I'm not a Tamil, I'm not connected in that sense. But my mother did spend some of her childhood in Jaffna. Um, so I'd heard a lot of stories about it, so I was very keen to go, but you know, for some reason, you know, in 50 years, I never went. And um, it was only after the war. Um, and, you know, I, I did the road journey um, in a van. Uh, so I did see that, and that, and that journey certainly made me want to write something. And I have done a nonfiction piece about, a little bit about it, but then I kind of thought, actually, I, I want, to do f a fictional piece, really, that I that somehow there was there was more to be said in fiction than in non-fiction for me. Uh, so that was that was one aspect of it, and the other aspect, I suppose, about the reality thing is it's interesting how um, I've had a couple of Indian uh, readers or people who've read the book sort of telling me, oh, you know, but how can you have a van driver who's talking like this who who's looked at Time magazine and, you know, is politically... I said, well, why not? Um, and I know that in certain societies it's more difficult to imagine, but actually in Sri Lanka it's not that impossible. I have had van drivers who I could only describe as kind of um, gentleman drivers, people who have actually retired from a job and decided they want to meet people. Um, and you know, they speak different languages, um, and this suits them as a van driver. Um, and I also like the slightly subversive no notion that, you know, why shouldn't anyone be anything? 